Alright, hey what's going on guys? Today I'll be showing you how to connect your mixer to OBS. Let's get into it. Alright, so the first thing you need to know is, uh, is your mixer a USB mixer or is it just a straight cable like this? So. My mixer is the Benringer 302 USB mixer. And what USB means on a mixer is meaning you can plug via USB right here straight from your mixer into your computer. Um, and you can act like the mixer is your sound system, which it is. So that's what USB means. So this mixer is a USB mixer. So I'm gonna show it in today's video how to hook up your mixer through USB to OBS and through these cables to OBS. All right, so with USB, all you have to do is plug in your USB cable to the back of the mixer. I'll flip this up to show you. Right back here, a little port. Just plug in the USB cable, right there, and uh, let's plug that in. Then plug in your microphone. This port right here is a fountain power uh, microphone port, so you can either have XLR or you can have this big 1.8 jack, I think it's called. Um, right now my microphone is this microphone, um, which runs directly into that, as you can see, I'm talking on the microphone, so you can see it's peaking right now. So, anyways, it's connected directly in the mic spot right here. Now, if you don't have a microphone like that, you can use an adapter like, what is it, right here. You can use an adapter like this. Now, I wouldn't suggest using this because it has a microphone port right here for a headset mic, which is just that little tiny jack. Um, but if you need to, use this. This is the big jack and little jack. Anyways, so all you have to do is plug your microphone in here, plug the USB there, and then your headphones plug in right here. So plug your headphones in here. Once you've done that, then I would suggest turning the microphone gain, depending on the microphone. My microphone needs a little bit of gain on it. I would say my microphone gain is about almost three quarters the way turned on the gain. Then, on the volume, just a tiny bit more than halfway. Now, what gain is, is this gain will go to the microphone, take the straight signal from the microphone, and amplify it. Versus what this does, it just takes that signal of sound, and this just amplifies it. Versus this amplifies the code of sound. So, you want this thing a certain, you want your um, gain a certain height, but you also want your volume a certain height. Because if you just had volume all the way up and gain at zero, it would sound horrible, it would sound completely fuzzy and everything like that. Okay, so moving on to the next, next row of things. So these two, this is line in. This is, this is if, say, you had music playing and you don't have it playing in your computer. You want music playing here. What you do is you have a connector like this, regular headphone jack, plug into whatever you're playing music, say a laptop, and then you'd have two. These cables, and you'd plug in the red one in the red spot and the white one in the red spot. And that's pretty simple. That's all you'd have to do, literally. And uh, right here, this is the control for the line slash USB. Now, as I said before, this is a USB mixer. So, if you're not using this for for uh, music, then you're gonna be playing music on your computer. So what that means is, when you have music playing on your computer, it goes straight in through USB, goes to here as a hub, and this is your control for your music. So say, I want uh, my music pretty quiet in the background, so I just turn this down a little bit and turn on my microphone. And then I'm talking with a little bit of uh, volume in the background. But then I can tone this up as well. Now, the important thing to notice is this is for your PC in total. So this is basically what this would do. 
it's like that. It's like the in internal sound volume thing, except this is for the mixer. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna act like the computer volume, except in the mixer. So if that making any sense, um, this is for music and the computer. So any sounds coming from the computer is gonna go straight in here, and this is gonna control it. And one thing you need to make sure is if you're using USB, push down this red button. It says from line in or USB. If it's popped out, it's from line in. If it's pushed in, it's from USB. It's a very important thing to learn. Alright, so next channel is headphone and main mix. Now, you don't even need to touch main mix. You don't even need to touch this thing unless you're using... Um, your computer going to these cables straight to here. You don't need to touch main mix, but I just it's being tweaked around with. It doesn't need to be even touched because it's going to USB, which means this is the only control that it needs, and you don't need to push this down. But this button right here, this is say if you wanna you're hearing you're hearing music and then you go, okay I want I want to quickly hear what it sounds like just straight through the headphones. Push this. It mutes it on this so that no one else can hear it, but you can hear it only through your headphones. Remember, when it's pushed down, everything else muted, you can only hear it through your headphones. When it's up, then it's fine. So this one right here is two track. So this is two track. This is your second track. It's like line in, except this would be your computer line in, and this would be your music line in, just for example. Now, two track, same thing. You're pushing it down, it goes to your headphones. It's up, everyone else can hear it. So it's pretty simple. And last but not least, this is your main mix. So, if you're not using USB, this would be going out. So this would go out via these cables, and this would plug into your mic jack through here. Then this whole thing would be just controlled. This would be your mic. No, this would be your computer out going in here. Then music would go in here. Then this would go out to your microphone port. So that's pretty simple. It's uh, I'll explain it in more detail when I go to explaining how to connect it with these to OBS. So we're going to explain how to connect this with OBS. So there's not really much at all to do. Again, this is how all my knobs are done. Um, this I change if ever I'm playing music and then I like turn it down and I'm talking and I turn it up so that music can hear over it. So I keep it, everything, all these knobs are around this level, just for example. Okay, so all you have to do, plug in your USB and literally it'll pop up your computer instantly. So what I'm going to do is, go to here, pops up here, and uh, sorry, it's Windows 10. And go here, go to control panel. Let's go to control panel, go to hardware and sound, and then go to manage audio devices. Right here, see, playback, it says speakers, USB audio codec. What that means is this is a USB audio system. So, plug it in via USB. So, usually you'll have it selected, say, speakers or headphones. And Realtek um, high, definition, high Definition Audio is what you're usually going to be connected, unless you're on a Mac. Um, but, once you'll see this thing pop up, you'll see USB Audio Kodak pop up. Click on this, and set de default. Um, you don't really need to mess with any of the properties. Um, levels will be at 100%. You don't need to touch anything else. I always have mine um, just stock where it is. It doesn't matter. Um, and then when you go to recording for microphone, you use this as your default as well. Sorry. There you go. This is your default as well. So I'll go get my microphone. And now, when I'm talking in the microphone, now you can see it's going right through the mixer, as you can see. 
those, those lights are turning on. And that shows that I have audio in right and left ears. Plus, you can see it in there. So, you just want to select that. You want to select this as your, as your uh, microphone. Now, once you do that, that means that, say, if you're recording audio and you have music playing in the background of your computer, you will hear that in your recording. So, just be careful on what you are recording. Anyways, so now that's done, just click OK and exit out. Now what she's gonna do is go to OBS. I will leave a link in the description for OBS. Uh, it's free, um, but I'm assuming if you're watching this you already have OBS. So first thing you need to do is go to settings. Click settings again. Now go to audio, go to microphone slash auxiliary and click microphone to USB audio codec. Click it. Then click speakers click same thing and you're done though the only thing I have I would say that you should do is I would say um, microphone you go on your boost for microphone I would say boost it by three this thing is just stock but I would say boost it up to three just because it's a little bit quiet half that just apply and okay now if I click preview scene There we go. Say hi. Um, now, if you look at this little volume here, now I'm going to talk in the microphone. Voila. Now I'm talking in the microphone, and you can see it peaking. You can see it peaking on here, and you can see it peaking over there. So, and you look at it, and you're going, well, that's kind of high. The audio levels are high. No, actually, they're not. They're the right level. Um, so when you when you're doing say when you're having music playing in the background, your music should only come out to here. If you're playing music in the background, or else it'll be really loud. But microphone will go all the way to the end, and then it will become a nice proper volume of, of uh, the microphone. So hopefully that explains how to do it. Um, if if your mixer is not USB, then the next section I will show you how to do with these cables. All right. Alright, so for the next bit, you're going to need, if you're using this without USB, you're going to need three of these cables. Three of them. Now, why that is, is because the first cable we plugged into your out jack or headphone jack in your computer. In the front of your computer, this will go into your headphone jack. This will go into your headphone jack. These two, this is just a splitter and it's a, an adapter. These two will go into line in. So, red into red, white into white. Voila. This goes into your headphones, goes straight in there. Now, I don't have enough cables right now to show you how it all hooks up, but I will explain how it hooks up. So, once this is all connected up to your headphones, then you should go, well, don't go anywhere yet, but this goes to your headphones, then you connect on output right here, once you have the other cable, main mix, which is your output, you're going to plug this into mic, and you're going to plug those into mic, because I don't have enough cables, I'm not going to be able to show you all the things, but you're going to plug that into main mix, and that goes into the microphone. Now what you're going to do, it's literally that simple. That's the only difference from USB. Then you're going to go to control panel. Go to hardware and sound. Manage audio devices. And then when you... Uh, I'll actually have to plug this in. But when you plug this in, right here. When you plug this in, this will go to microphone, which will be in recording, which will mean that you'll have line in. Now line in will show, will be the mixer. So you're gonna have to select line in for the mixer to be recognized. Now it won't have any name for the actual mixer because without USB it will not recognize. But plug this right into your microphone, then all you gotta do is select line in and uh, select it as default. And it'll be fine. Now, this is not going to necessarily control your just straight audio system. Um, 
because it's not USB, but you can use it as an audio system because this is going to go straight from your headphones into here. Now, exit out of that, and you go to settings on OBS, you go to audio, audio, and all you have to do is select on the microphone right here, all you're going to have to select is line in. Now, it'll be here when, uh, when you actually plug it in, but because I don't have the cables, I can't show you. But when you have it plugged in, it'll say line in. You All you have to do is select that, and you're going to have to boost the line in to four. I found is a really decent. I know it's not much different from the three, but four or five is a good boost. And all you're going to do, yeah, all you're going to do is click OK, and then voila, it's all going to be hooked up. Um, Sorry, I cannot show you, but because I don't have enough cables for that, um, because I'm using USB. But yeah, hopefully that helped a little in uh, figuring out how to connect your mixer to your OBS. And uh, yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video.